Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to be reviewing the 4K exclusive Best Buy Steelbook of the live action 2017 Beauty and the Beast. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. I'm also having a giveaway for a free 4K Blu-ray combo pack of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. In order to qualify, you need, be to, you need to be subscribed to this channel. Hashtag MovieGuy365 in the comment section of this video or any video until March 31st. And be, like the video. Hey, do that. Wait, why not? And also, uh, I will announce the winner on April 1st, 2020. So good luck. All right. Beauty and the Beast, the Disney's live action version of the film, is here on 4K through Steelbook and Slowcover Editions. I'll be reviewing the Steelbook and 4K only. Uh, the Blu-ray release included with this is the same Blu-ray that's been uh, uh, out for a few years now, so it's no need to go over that one again. But uh, I'm going to be doing the f uh, picture quality and audio uh, thoughts in just a moment, but first let's do a quick unboxing. All right, we have the live action Beauty and the Beast steelbook here from Best Buy. Now, I just want to say right off the bat, I kind of prefer the uh, artwork from the previous Blu-ray release. Uh, I'll go ahead and just show that off right here. Uh, I, I just love this. I think this embossed, uh, like this one is embossed over here. I think this one would have been like an absolute winner. Um, but yeah, I kind of dig this one a little bit more, but eh, I'll, I'll hold on to it. But here we go. Um, so as I mentioned, there's a little bit of embossing on the edges here. It's really nice. And then on the back, kind of the same deal with the beast. Yeah, as you can see, it's not exactly a striking image. Uh, it's a little bit of the spine. And then the interior artwork, of course, is always nice. Uh, artwork on the discs, as well as the uh, inside cover. So not too bad. It's good. All right. So now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. I'm happy to say that the Disney live action Beauty and the Beast is pretty nice looking over on the 4K side. Uh, I, if you have previously watched their version of The Jungle Book, you kind of know what to expect here. I felt that that was a beautiful transfer utilizing HDR10. And I, I can honestly say that's no no different over here for Beauty and the Beast. Uh, as I mentioned, HDR10 is what we get here. Now there's going to be no Dolby Vision. That will be for the digital uh, code that comes with your uh, particular disc. So if you want to watch it in Dolby Vision, you do have that option, but it's digitally. But I really don't think you uh, have to, you know, go that far. The HDR10 physical copy is absolutely beautiful. So this being a very fairy tale like setting, uh, those HDR color pops are going to be all over the place, and I think they're handled very well. They're very restrained, and I think appropriate, and they don't blow out your screen. They don't make anything just kind of seem out of place. Uh, some of the CGI elements uh, look a little dodgy, but that's really just more or less the the technology at at work here. That's that's not any kind of knock on the Blu-ray transfer or the 4K transfer. That's that's just, that's just how the film is. It's just one of those things. But I think uh, a lot of times, that especially in those darker scenes, those moments can be a little bit more seamless and I think they look pretty good. Speaking of darker scenes, black levels are handled very nicely here. Uh, beautiful to look at. Uh, nice deep inky blacks. I very much appreciate that. There are a lot of dark interiors, especially at the beginning of the movie uh, during um, Beast, the initial run into Beast Castle, you definitely see those little darker areas and they're not, you know, you don't see outlines, you see any grayness of what's behind there. So I like that. It's a very good aspect and just nighttime scenes in general are very pleasant. Uh, level of detail, probably one of the strongest aspects of this release. Uh, the in intricacy of all the animated characters is pretty well done here. Uh, everything from Codsworth to, you know, Lumiere, they all bring that little extra layer of detail here that was sort of missing over on the Blu-ray side. But uh, here, uh, you're really just seeing a, a fair amount of what we can just say is just those little extra bells and whistles they put into the film to make these things look a little more real and ornate. Uh, so I'm very pleased overall with the HDR10 pr color presentation uh, over on the audio side, it's it's okay. It does its job. It's uh, it's got appropriate levels of bass, but it's not as strong as it could be. But that's per Disney's usual release uh, standards here on, on the home format. But the immersive feel of the Atmos track is very nice. Uh, it really pulls you in. Those musical scenes, uh, those uh, all those musical cues really are great. Uh, they kind of like just wrap you up in almost like a warm blanket. They fill the room very nicely. Uh, there's a fair amount of ambience, uh, a little bit here and there sprinkled throughout that make use of your mid-levels and your rear speakers. 
and I think the height speakers for the most part are are good. Uh, they they complement the uh, action of what's happening on screen, but they don't overbear the audio mix. Uh, your front levels sound great. Uh, burn of the action is up there, and I think it's handled very nicely. And your center, cha center channel does a great job. It's a really good uh, uh, dialogue. It's clean, easy to understand. Uh, very, very pleased with overall with the results here of Beauty and the Beast on 4K. I think the HDR10 is very nice, and the, uh, and the audio mix is, is fairly good. So my scores are going to be for the, the 4K picture quality. I'm going to give that one a solid A. I think Disney does a very well very well done job here as far as what well, giving us an upgrade over the standard blu-ray you get those extra benefits are really nice uh, the audio mix i'm going to give that a b plus it's not going to win any awards by any stretch but it's very immersive it fills the room especially during those musical numbers and i think you're going to be very pleased overall with what we got here so that is my review of beauty and the beast the live action 4k let me know in the comments below if you had a chance to check it out in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.